stop meeting like this. And then I'll buy the fifth time, it's just awkward. Isn't it? Hello everyone, and welcome to Derbyshire. I'm in a very windy part of the Amber Valley, just outside a village called Hege. I'm kind of sheltering a little bit at the minute so I can talk to you. So hopefully it's not too bad. Behind me, or behind you now actually, is the A38. And I used to live in Kilburn, it's just around the corner. So I was forever driving up and down this stretch and I could see this mound to the side of the road with some what looked like kind of stones on it. And I always wondered what it was. Um, and I'd forever be looking at it. Maybe you've spotted it as well, or maybe you were watching the road. It's probably more sensible. But because it's Derbyshire, we've got so much incredible history here, I wondered if it was something significant. Because it's like that around here. You'll see like a little just nondescript mound with some stones on it, and it's like, it's, it's a Barbie dream house or something. Barbyshire. Um, and I was right, it was something significant. So it turns out they are the Morley Park Blast Furnaces. Um, and they are um, iron furnaces, one of which dates back from 1780, which is unbelievable. I've not seen them before. I just know that they're there now. So um, I'm in kind of, well, a little path either side of the farmer's field. I'm gonna go and try and get a better look at them. Oh, that was supposed to be smooth, but I can't undo it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Can you see that in the distance? Eesh, that is huge. And there's the A38, you see the trucks going past. Getting closer now. So we're competing with trucks and the wind. Um, but I'll do my best to put some noise reduction thing on it. Although if I did that, it'd probably just take my voice out, wouldn't it? Get rid of that. Look at that. Just hidden away in a field. That's amazing. I'll come and stand on the one so I'm sheltered. So this one that I'm, I'm next to now, this was 1780. The other one was 1818. And that was built for a guy called Francis Hurt, um, who's a local landowner. And he was a great grandson actually of um, Arkwright. You know, Richard Arkwright, the guy that's basically essentially responsible for the Industrial Revolution, um, who's a bit of a kind of one of those love or hate characters really. So, I mean, obviously by harnessing the power of the dough and, and, and creating mass production, he's kind of started the ball rolling on the fact that I'm filming this on this and you're watching this on that. Um, he took a lot of people out of poverty um, and gave them work and housed them. Um, which is obviously a good thing. But then on the other side, he paid people in Arkwright pounds, which meant they could only spend their wages in his pub, in his shop. Do you know what I mean? He had them stitched up, really. So, good and bad. Francis Hurt became a conservative politician, as a lot of these people did, these, these um, industrialist types. They tend to be Tory politicians, um, in the end. So the reason these, and particularly this one, because this one is 1780, the reason they're you know, particularly significant is what you had, well, so I'm not even gonna pretend I know anything about iron, by the way, but you had something called pig iron, which was basically quite brittle, couldn't, not very malleable, couldn't do a lot with it. Um, and what you needed was raw iron, um, which you could do a lot more with. And what they managed to do was using coke, as in um, coal, not, you know, a Hollywood party, but using coal, they they were they, they managed to, to turn the pig iron 
using a technique called puddling, um, they turn it into raw iron. And actually that technique was used for um, Statue of Liberty, for the Eiffel Tower. They took um, pig iron um, and used this puddling technique, which was really, really big here in Derbyshire in the 1780s, um, which is obviously when this is from. This is the last one, this is the last remaining one in Derbyshire, amazing. As always, thank you so much for watching. Um, it's crazy, isn't it? You've got that amazing bit of history just sat there right next to the A38. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people drive past that every single day without even knowing it's there. Yeah, its significance to history is amazing. They say that this technique was the launch of another industrial revolution, certainly when it came to iron, because it made iron so much more affordable because they could mass produce it. So, Derbyshire changing the shape of the world again. As always, click like, subscribe, comment. If you know any of these little nuggets that are just sat around that I don't know about, please let me know. I'd love to come and explore. And I'll see you next time.